Faithful prayer determines our victory or defeat. Hello and welcome to Mana to Live By. One day at a time. Five minute devotionals. Today is June 30th. Today's reading is from Exodus chapter 17 and verse 11. As long as Moses held up his hands, the Israelites were winning, but whenever he lowered his hands, the Amalekites were winning. Israel was in conflict with the forces of Amalek. Moses was on top of the hill overlooking the battlefield. The position of Moses' hand spelled the difference between victory and defeat. The uplifted hand turned Amalek back. The lowered hand turned Israel back. As long as Moses' hand was raised, he pictured the Lord Jesus as our intercessor for us, his hands uplifting in sympathy and love. It is through his intercession that we are saved to the uttermost. But from then on the type breaks down because our intercessor's hand is never lowered. No fatigue causes him to need outside help. He always lives to make intercession for us. There is a second way in which we may apply this incident, namely to ourselves as prayer warriors. The uplifted hand pictures our faithful intercession for those believers who are engaged in the spiritual conflict on the mission fields of the world. When we neglect the ministry of prayer, the enemy prevails. A missionary and his party, on safari, had to spend the night in an area infested by brigands. They committed themselves to the Lord's care, then retired. Months later, when a brigand chief was brought to a mission hospital, he recognized the missionary. We intended to rob you that night, out in the open country, he said, but well, we were afraid of your 27 soldiers. Later, when the missionary related this in a newsletter to his home church, one of the members said, we had a prayer meeting that same night, and there were 27 of us present. When our God beholds us there, pleading in the place of prayer, then the tide of battle turns, then the flame of conquest burns, then the flag of truth prevails, Foes slink back and Satan quails. Then the faltering wail of fear turns to victory's ringing cheer. Bring us, Lord, oh bring us there, where we learn prevailing prayer. Then we can see another insight in this incident. The Lord swore that he will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. Amalek is a picture of the flesh. The Christian must wage ceaseless warfare against the flesh. Prayer is one of his principal weapons. The faithfulness of his prayer life often spells the difference between victory and defeat. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for the incredible privilege of prayer and of being a partner with you as you fulfill your purposes. Empower me, Lord, to pray as long as I breathe. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Faithful prayer determines our victory or defeat. Today's Manna, originally written by William MacDonald. Adapted and developed as Manna to Live By, 5-Minute Devotionals for You too by John Benjamin for previous day's mana please click the channel link given in the description box below thank you and to God be the glory